Alrighty guys, just on Shreddy here. Welcome back to what may or may not be another episode of San Andreas Finest, just in case it is. I don't wanna have to pre-record the intro later, but I don't know what we're doing today. I just picked a random character, so we're playing Riley again. I swapped out I know Cassette already has a Scorcher, but to be honest, uh, the Scorcher's just, you know, the best bike because it's kinda like an off-roady mountain bike, so I do think that that'd be nice to uh, have just to have that is better than any other bike. Plus, you can bunny hop with it. It looks better than the BMX bike, which you can also bunny hop with. I don't know if you can do any bunny hop with any of the other bikes. I know the one that she used to use, you can't. But, yeah, I don't know. Do some cycling around. It's pouring rain at the dead of night. So, uh, or maybe early morning. I don't know. I can't remember, but it's pouring rain today. Riley doesn't really care about the rain all too much, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll kind of just, I guess, cycle around. I don't know. There's a big, massive scene going on in the uh, city today at the bank. Apparently, like, there's a big, like, bank robbery scene going on in the city with, like, fucking, like, 17 civs, I think, in the city one. And I'm the only one in the county for right now, at least until that scene gets over with. So I honestly have no idea if there's even going to be anybody else in the county today. Let me just do this just to make sure, just in case I do get stopped. I don't even know if there's any county police on right now, like uh, any uh, ECSD on tonight because of the big bank robbery scene going on in the city. But I don't, I'm not, I'm still not completely comfortable with big scenes nor do I really want to take part in a bank robbery scene because I was supposed to have a ride along with the Metro Police today and I was going to stream it, but they told me that uh, the person that I was going to ride along with today, they uh, messaged me on Discord saying that uh, I won't be allowed to uh, be on scene of high-risk high, pro high risk calls. And I guess they... They knew, they had a general idea of what was coming, so it's like you can't, I can't, you know, take part in a, uh, I can't be on scene during a high-risk call like that, so I guess it, they figured it was better to just reschedule the ride-along just so I wouldn't be, uh, kicked, kicked off it, you know, like 10 minutes in, because I think it's already started, and they already have, like, pack teams en route and stuff, and they're already doing shit, so... Yeah, I'm kind of shit out of luck. I guess I could have maybe done Weasel News, but maybe get Weasel News coverage of it. Ow, with the helicopter. But it's already too late now. It's already started. I'll just ride around on the bike. Fucking, I still, I do need three hours and all that stuff for activity. So I'll just ride around, do random stuff. Maybe I'll do a couple minor calls. Or, uh, like, say if I, uh, accidentally fall off the rock again, you know, she shrugged it off the first time, but maybe she, uh, sprained something the second time and she can't walk or something. So maybe I do, like, a couple minor calls for the county if there's anybody even out here besides me. I wouldn't be surprised if everybody's focused on the city stuff today. But, oh, well, I'll just stay here... Doing random shit, I guess. I mean, I guess I could check the team speak real quick just to see if there's anybody on in the county. Ow! Damn it! Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe if I have, like, another big tumble off of the rock, say, uh, say I, like, fall all the way down the mountain again, maybe I can say that and really sprain something or something like that. Give a couple, uh, minor medical calls or maybe just minor calls in general. So 
Twitch stick a set and do like a fucking public uh, toxication scene because she's kind of going down the uh, the pothead route. But let me check real quick to see if there's actually anybody in the counter or if I'm just wasting my time or there is two whole people in the county radio right now. Oh no. Damn. Well, I might I might just get county medic the whole time, but I could do something like that. trying to like I'm trying to purposely fall off the bike while also make it look like an accident which is very difficult to now oh, there we go difficult to do there we go um I do have an idea I could maybe e sit seven nope uh, I believe it's sit six or five i want one where my legs are like sprawled out and i can say that like i fell off the bike rolled down the hill you know i was twisted and sprained a couple things not broken because you know there's only two people in the county right now and then uh is it eight there we go and say like the bike fell on my leg and it's like you know i'm kind of stuck here now There we go. Oops. Uh, I will do, I will check to see if there's an active dispatch. Uh, looks like there is. Active 911 startup patrol. Alrighty. Um, slash 911. Uh, fell off my bike. Well, mm, fell off my bike. Go. Assuming that all the dispatchers aren't like busy with the fucking bank scene going on. like rock climbing on my mountain bike around 3043 Smoke Tree Road in the county and I guess I like pulled back too hard on my bike and I fell off it rolled down the rock and now I can't like 
stand up. My bike landed on my leg and I can't like stand up or anything. I can't. Uh, of like a swipe or there was like you know there were you know the big rock formations around like Smoke Tree Road and the uh, hiking trails in the county or something like that around Sandy. I'm like I, I didn't I didn't roll all the way off the rock, but I rolled down the f first tier of the rocks and then I landed somewhere on the lower tiers of the rocks. I'm facing Smoke Tree Road right now, facing west, I think. So go a couple feet, you reckon? Yeah. Uh, I I one second to try to find something. Hang on, let me try to like. I want, I want it okay, to be. Yeah, at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I think I can't like I can't move my left leg right now or something right now. It that's where it's mostly at. You said it was a mountain bike, not an oh, like a BMX bike or was it? Uh, yeah, no, no, it's like it's one of the scorcher bikes. It's just a, it's just a bicycle. It's a scorcher mountain bike. It's a scorcher. Gotcha, gotcha. Apart from the pain, are you feeling cold at all or anything like that? Uh, it is pouring rain right now, but other than that, I don't think so. That's fair enough, yep. Just running this up for you. Um, is there anyone with you? No, I'm just by myself, just out bicycling by myself, so... There, at least the bike stopped moving, so it's at least part... Of at least, you know, close enough to my legs so I can see. And maybe, like, my foot went through the chassis or something and it's kind of stuck there. And you said your leg and your back was hurting? Uh, just the leg, mainly. I can't, like, stand up or something. Maybe, I think maybe my foot's caught in the bike or something. I don't know. I can't tell Which right now. Uh, my left leg. bleeding right now uh, I can't tell right now it's kind of dark but I can't I don't feel anything at the very least but how long did this happen five minutes ago or um, yeah about that maybe ever take a couple minutes ever take a Cool, just to confirm so I can get some help to 3043 for the postal and Smoke Tree Road. Yeah, 3043 Smoke Tree Road. There's a big rock formation just off of the side of the road. I'm like caught up in there. Are you getting your local caller? Uh, no. This is, this is me. I... Yeah, fair enough. Yes. Am I already get your um, callback number just in case we have to call you back? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be 205-093-563. Easy, 205-093-563. Um, yes. We'll, we'll get someone out to you as soon as we can. Um, try not to move around too much so we don't cause any, for any more further pain. Um, if you do, if something else does occur, please do call back and we'll get someone... Um, We'll take you down more information. All right. All right.
I have an awesome. Me too. You were moved. Alrighty, now we just wait for somebody to show up. Okay. Will they see me over here? Oh. Maybe they see me? Hopefully they do. Oh. Uh. It's a bit wet for mountain biking, don't you think? Well, the weather never bothered me, but... Oh, the cold did well, bother me anyway, unlike Elton. Uh -huh. It didn't bother you this time. All right. The cold just seems not to have bothered you anyway. What, uh, well, the what cold... happened? Well, I was mountain climbing around on this rock here, and I guess I leaned too far back, fell off the bike, and kind of slid down the rock to here. Kind of slid. Okay. Did you hit your head or anything? Uh, her left foot is... No, I don't think so, but I think my legs took most of the hit. <sighs> right, hold on. I'm going to feel in the back of your neck. Tell me if it hurt. Does that hurt? No, I mean, I have a slight headache from it all, but I don't. That, that doesn't necessarily hurt. That doesn't... Preference on what hospital you want to go to? Uh, not really. Not really. Okay. How precious are these trousers to you, madam? Not very much. I mean, I have a couple other pairs, so. Got them. All right. Uh, uh. Mine are bleeding around the left. Just your foot. Can you move your toes in that foot? Yeah, it's a little sore though, okay. but it's a little sore. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, if we were to help you, do you think you could get down to that stretcher over there? Yeah, I might need. Yeah, I might need some help though to get yeah, in there. Yeah, 
we'll, we'll, we'll help you down there. But here's what uh, what I'm thinking. Get you to the truck. Get you loaded up. We're gonna do a couple things before we take off. Okay. On a scale of zero to ten, zero being no pain at all, ten like you just got hit by a train on set on fire. Where you at right now? Uh, I think about a five, six between those two. Okay. Uh, how much do you think you weigh? Uh, uh, I don't know. I never really gave it much thought. I never. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to go get the stretcher ready. I'll come back up here and, and we'll get you on down to it, okay? Into the ambulance. Okay. What's your full name, ma'am? Uh, Riley Fairhaven. How am I spelling your first name? Yeah. How am I spelling your first name? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Just R I L E Y. Pretty sure that's how it's spelled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you think? How old are you, Riley? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Have you got a parent or guardian that we can contact? Um, uh, my sister lives up in the city. We recently moved she to the city. Legal guardian. Yeah, our parent. Both our parents are out of state. Both our parents. Right, once we're in the ambulance, I'm gonna grab a phone number off of you, off of for your sister. Is she contactable at the moment? Uh, we were, we're both played by the same manifestation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Gotcha. Interesting choice of words, but uh, yeah, I don't know how else to play it. Don't know how else to play. Don't know how else. To... I'll, I'll give her a phone and see what happens. Okay, right. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a just like a flexible splint. I'm just gonna wrap that up a little bit, okay? Just so we don't move it. Cause it looks like it's kind of hurting you when you move it. All right. Yeah. Do you have someone to? get your bike or would you like to call the police and have them to go it? Uh, the bike? No. I, uh, guarantee you anything. I don't know about the bike. My sister would have to come all the way from the city, but I don't know. I can ask my control room if there's any police officers that are not busy and they can just take it to police station but again, I can't guarantee you anything. Alright. Mm. Pressure to do this. Alright. How's your vision at the moment, Riley? See it alright? Uh, there's a little bit of water in my eyes, but minus that. Oh, your eyes yeah. alright. Gotcha. Oh, you know, the right. water. Yeah, the water being anything licked in my face and all that. But... Different from what it usually is? No, not really. No, no. Okay. You're not feeling like you're going to vomit or anything like that? No, nothing like that. No. Just okay. any, med any medical conditions we should be aware of? Uh, no. You want any medications, drugs? Is there nope. Anything? When was the any last allergies? time you had something to eat? Any allergies to medication? Uh, last time I had something to eat, maybe like half an hour ago. Okay. Any allergies to anything, medications, anything else? Nope. Right. Alrighty. You ready to go? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to get under this arm right here. He's going to get under the other arm. He's going to kind of lift you up, and we're going to very carefully get you down this hill to that stretcher. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. Helps graciously. Damn. Okay. One, two, three. <sighs> Go over this way. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Around the dirty crow. <laughs> it's... Right onto the stretcher. There we go. There we go. There we go.
The striker's not worked, I'm afraid. They're still holding it. Oh, this is awkward. Give that another try. Oh, oh dear. Uh. Oh no. No, it's not work. Try to put her down and get her back up. Oh boy. Oh, there, there we go. go. Alright, madam, I'm just going to pop this on your finger. It's just going to let me see what your oxygen levels are looking like. It doesn't hurt at all, but we'll need you to take off one of your gloves for it to work properly. You've not got any nail polish, nail varnish on at the moment, do you? No, I don't wear that stuff. No. Right, so the ambulance is nice and heated, so if I could have you take your jacket off, just so that I can put pop a blood pressure cuff on your arm. Fantastic. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken before? Uh, once or twice at the family doctor for checkups, but oh, sure. right. so just like before, you're just gonna feel slight tightness around your arm. Last a couple seconds, it shouldn't hurt or anything, and then it all start deflating. Have you ever had any issues with blood pressure before? Anything like the doctor told you? Around, uh, I'll say around 30. I'm not worried about uh, DM since she's eaten quite recently. Yeah. How's that temperature? 30 Celsius. You're quite hot at the moment. Are you feeling sick, Riley? No. Not if you had a cold or anything like that. No, not from what I no. Right. Your temperature's just looking a little bit high. It could just be simple. You're a bit ill, but the symptoms haven't set in yet. Um, we'll note it for the hospital, and if they can do some checks if it's anything concerning. Wait, did you say 30, 40? Huh? Did you say 30 or 40? Celsius? 30 yeah. degrees Celsius. 30, no mind. Yeah, colds. That's work. <laughs> Pop heating up. Hmm? We'll give you a blanket. It's a nice, not one of those stupid coil ones. We'll give you a pop up. Heart rate 70, blood oxygen's 92, blood pressure's 128. So, yeah. so it's probably just 92 because she's cold. I'm assuming it's absolutely in the high 90s. I'll pop this around you. Heat you up. Alright. There won't be much longer. Um, we'll call you back again once we're transporting. Maybe really five to ten minutes, minutes, absolute max. One, two, three, six. Beautiful. Still having that pain around like five six. Uh, it's gotten down a little bit, but it's still a little sore and stuff. Okay. Well, I can get us moving if you'd like. Yeah, you can ride him back. Ah. Uh -huh. You can ride him back. Let you get some kind of. Alright, and I guess we're going to be transported. Please! How is it? Oh, 
Are we ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to be transported here, I guess, and, uh, ah, I guess Olivia's going to be, uh, Olivia's going to be contacted again. This is the second time <laughs> Riley got hurt. Lucky for you, it's only a short drive to hospital. Yeah, I don't, su I suppose we're only going to Sandy. Lift your foot again here, okay? Looks like we're here already. <laughs> I'm gonna give a hand off, I'll get us on that next job. Oh, they have another fucking call already. Huh. Ooh. Are you going all the way down to the end? She's gonna help you over there to that room, okay? I'm gonna give him a report. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my lord. You really like swinging that around, huh? You really like swinging that around. It's like attached to me, you know? Uh huh. Oh. Uh. uh okay. If the door would open. I don't know, maybe, maybe this one? Nope. Oh, okay. Hi, nurses, anyways. What was your name? One more time. He told me. Uh, Riley uh, Fair. Uh, Riley Fairhaven. Riley Fair. All right. This is Riley. Riley had a little bit of a back accident. Bike accident. Uh, she's going up a hill. Fell down. She, she slid down the hill. Her uh, foot got caught in the chain there. She has some swelling and some bleeding. It's uncontrolled. She has an insulin on her right now. It's been replaced. You have an 18 gauge IV placed in the right forearm. It is patent and it does draw for you. Bladder has been stable all throughout transport. Temp was 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, we used the passive heating with the blanket. And half of heating in the truck. As of right now, no pain meds given. Almost did. A little bit too far for that. But other than that, she's all yours. Riley, hope you start feeling better, okay? Let's take care of. Alrighty, thank you. Alrighty, I'm going to wait for him to uh, get out of sight. And then I'm just going to whoop, go into here. And that's probably going to call it here for this episode, I guess. Thought I'd give people in the county something to do for... Uh, for this since all the crazy stuff happening in the city but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time